cyborgs like this one are getting really hard to find at the thrift stores in my area. So when I saw it, naturally, I told my husband we needed to bring it home. And luckily for me, my customer was looking for a piece that looked just like it. She had seen a couple other makeovers that I had done recently and asked me to replicate the finish on this piece. So stay tuned if you want to see how I brighten today's piece. Hi, I'm Walesa. Welcome to LA Refurbish, where you are reminded through furniture refinishing that there's hope, doesn't matter how tough things get. This cyborg has been sitting for a few months in my garage, so it has accumulated a good amount of dust. I'm gonna make sure I wipe all of that off with my good degreaser from Simple Green and then remove this gorgeous, gorgeous hardware. I'm gonna keep them. They're gorgeous. And overall, the condition of this piece is really good. I just need to make a couple repairs. here today um, we're gonna be sanding the entire thing to bare wood which seems to be the popular thing and what a lot of people want and it modernizes these pieces without compromising the wood so in the future if anybody wants to darken the wood or even lighten it, it makes it easier for them so super excited to see how this one turns out i want to share with you here a similar piece that i found from a big box store and check out the price on it this piece is being sold for four times more than i would be selling it for so i just want to remind you why it's better to refinish and do it yourself i had somebody write me a comment on one of my makeovers from a couple of weeks ago via Instagram saying you can do that or you can also just buy it. Well, of course that you can always buy from a big box store. But if you do that, you would be missing out on saving this piece from going to the landfill and also supporting a small business like my own. So if you celebrate the holidays, this is your reminder to shop small and support small business. This hardware is gonna be soaking overnight in a mixture of one-to-one -one ratio of water and white vinegar. And I'll be giving it a good scrub tomorrow to bring that shine back. But right now it's all about sanding. I'm using my Surf Prep 5-inch electric ray sander. If you are planning on starting a furniture refinishing business or already have a business, so I highly recommend getting one of these sanders. They're very powerful, so they'll cut down your sanding time in half. I do have a 10% discount code that you can find under the video description. I'm using a 120 grit to cut through this first layer and I'll be following up with 180 grit. The farther I get into sanding, the more I'm realizing that it's probably a good idea to unscrew the door so that I have better access to every nook and cranny to get rid of this all yellowish finish. This week, my nephew was visiting from out of town, so I took advantage of an extra set of hands and asked him to help me flip the cyborg so that I can have better access to the legs and also the bottom of this piece really needs to get vacuumed. There are tons of spider wipes under there. So disgusting. There was also quite a bit of hand sanding that needed to happen here, so he also helped me sand a few grooves. Both of us basically sanded until either our hands felt tingly, fingers were sore, or discs started flying off. I do want to share one thing with you. This is the most underrated sanding tool that there is out there. These hand grips are amazing. With the convex and concave angles, they work perfect on these curves.
Once we got through the sanding part, which took most of our time on this project, I used some mineral spirits to get rid of any of the dust residue. Make sure that you take your time cleaning your piece. I'm not going to use any sanding sealer. I'm not going to use any primer to block any wood tannings this time. However, if I don't remove all of the sanding dust, the dust is going to yellow my finish after I apply my top coat. So once again, take some extra time and make sure that you do a thorough cleaning. Boy, am I glad to be finally done sanding and cleaning this piece. To reattach one of the drawer slides, I'm using this wood glue from DAP called Wellwood. It gives me three minutes to reposition, but it cures fully after 30 minutes. Since it's a bit more pricey than Tybon and Elmer's wood glue, I like to use this product only for smaller repairs. After clamping it, I'm gonna let it sit overnight. For the next repair, which is a corner where the wood veneer chipped off, I'm applying a little bit of this plastic wood also from DAP. The next day after having two cups of coffee and getting Luna out to go potty, which has been a situation, I mix a little bit of natural cork and wooden barrel, both water-based gel stains from Lily Moon Paint. As always, prior to applying the stain, I have some lint-free wet paper towels ready to wipe off the excess. And remember, you want to get your surface wet before applying the stain. This will give you a larger open working time. A couple of tips when applying this stain are to wipe following the wood grain, apply it as even as possible, and when you wipe off the excess, try to make it look as cohesive as possible. This way, the finish will look more uniform once it dries. There are a couple of things that I absolutely love about these stains. One of them is that they already have a top coat built in. As the name implies it, these servers are meant to place food and drinks on top when you want to entertain somebody and to make the finish last. I'm going to be applying a few coats of top coat even though the stains already have a top coat built in. But the second reason why I love this product so much is because they dry super fast. I'm wearing a wool sweater and socks, you guys. So even though it was a chilly day, I only had to wait two hours for these stains to dry. And then I was able to apply my three coats of top coat. When you live in a cold climate state, things that dry fast are worth more than gold.
If for some reason you end up wiping a little too much off, just keep wiping off the excess stain. Once my paper towel oversaturates, I use that same saturation to go back and touch up the area that I over wiped. If you want the stain application to look even, make sure your brush strokes are nice and long. The same thing applies when you're wiping off the excess. Start wiping at the very top, avoid stopping midway, but instead go all the way down. If you stop midway, it's gonna show up once the stain dries and I don't think you're gonna like it. The last couple of times that I apply these water-based gel stain custom color, I also use this brush to sort of push the gel stain into the groove and it really helped to even the finish effortlessly. I would say you could use any brush that has lots of bristles. The more bristles, the better. To make the original hardware nice and shiny, I let it soak overnight in a mixture of one-on-one -on -one ratio of water and white vinegar. I know that many people love boiling the hardware in this mixture, however, I hate the smell of vinegar around my home. Unless I'm in a rush, I'd rather let it soak overnight and then the next day I just grab some still wool, bars keepers friend and give it a good scrub. To offer even more protection to the sideboard, I pour some of these high performance flat top coat from General Finishes into my Flexio 3500 Detail Finish Nassle from Wagner and applied three coats. Let's go back in time to see how the sideboard started and this is how it looks now this light wood finish has become a favorite of mine and is my most requested finish let me know what you guys think of this after in the comments and if you enjoyed today's makeover don't forget to like comment and subscribe as this really helps out i will see you guys next week